Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Happy Good Friday! Although, if Jesus knew what was round the corner, I don't think he'd be too happy with Good Friday, you know. They're gonna kill ya! Okay, uh, let's move on. So, a couple of days ago, I did a video on Frostfire Ridge. Showed you, I think it was 22 or so screenshots of Frostfire Ridge, which is going to be the Horde starting zone in Warlord's Draenor. Today, bringing you Shadow Moon Valley, and this is going to be the Alliance starting zone in Warlords of Draenor. And this is a zone which I, I was really um, anticipating seeing, because Shadow Moon Valley in its current form in Outland is just a, a tainted fell mess. And alongside that, a Warlock's Wet Dream. It's just phenomenal. I love it. Absolutely adore it. You've got the Hand of Gul'dan pretty much slap bang in the center of it. Altar of the Damned or whatever it is. Altar of Damnation. Uh, and then everywhere is basically just screwed. <laughs> Absolutely screwed with fell corruption and fell taint and all this kind of stuff. It just is incredible. But this, of course, is how Shadow Moon Valley originally appeared this is before the explosion before all the the taint and all of that and it's this beautiful I mean, what really appears to be this beautiful serene uh perpetual nighttime zone i don't think i've seen a single shot where this isn't nighttime hence shadow moon valley because maybe you always have the nighttime moon here and that's that's pretty cool i discussed in the in the last video a little bit about i hope that blizzard decide to make the night times a little bit more darker uh etc etc because it just gives it a better feel i think a bit of vibe full stop but if they're not going to do that then maybe this is the zone for us this is the zone where you have got your perpetual night time so if you want to have that sort of eerie but beautiful at the same time feel this is the place for you. I like these orc settlements. These are the type of orc settlements that I was really hoping to see a lot more of. So it does appear as if if Blizz have uh, got a separate um, way of constructing horde buildings apart from the iron which was seen um, in the last video. The, the kind of garoshy feel that we've had for, for too long now. Um, so fingers crossed again we're going to see a little bit more of that. I, I like the more organic... Um, vibe with the orc stuff. And of course, you've got the Temple of Carabor. And if you don't know what the Temple of Carabor is, which is getting assaulted here, um, the Temple of Carabor is the Drenay Temple, which got converted and, and corrupted and perverted. Oof, lots of words with urded. Uh, into the Black Temple that we know today. Um, so we're going to see that in its untainted format as well, which is, again, very, very exciting. Big storyline which starts off the Alliance zone is, is the Iron Horde attacking it from the get-go. Um, so it's no massive spoiler. We've all seen the footage of that, but it, it sounds really exciting, really cool. Like in a lot of the armors as well that, that we're seeing in some of the pictures. And there's one with a dwarf with some fantastic shoulder armor on and uh, an amazing-looking gun. But, yeah, all in all... I think this could be a really great starting zone. It looks like the storyline could be pretty exciting to go alongside it. Um, the aesthetics appear to be right. I like the idea. It's the dwarf. I like the idea of the, the perpetual night time. Sounds pretty cool to me. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please also like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter. Facebook and also twitch.tv forward slash heel versus babyface for live streaming. And as ever, I shall be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Have a lovely Easter. Bye bye.